everyone and welcome back to Euroleague Fantasy with Brock and Martina. We are a tiny bit delayed with our video this week. We are reviewing round 12 uh, since uh, this guy is uh, traveling around Japan with his team. <laughs> yep, long road trip but back, ready to go. We're back. So we'll quickly uh, go through our teams and um, from round 12 and uh, who did best and what kind of changes we made for the double week. Winner starts? Winner starts. Okay. I'm a loser again. Ooh. I'm clawing back though. I only got 100 points behind now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, started Captain Misic. Did well as always, 50 points. Uh, Vildoza continues to be strong. Uh, Henry, who I thought after a couple of weeks of warming up, getting back used to the EuroLeague, he's back on his stuff. 30 points. Debate, 30 points. Damn, that's a good uh, Mirror Teacher is a good pickup. Hopefully he'll. Uh, continued to be on the up and up. He got 19 points. Dunstan was a big surprise. I know he always plays well against Zagros. You so. said that too. You said he's going to have a great game against yeah, Zagros, yeah. which he did. I have <laughs> always faith in my boy. Dunstan, he had 20 points, and Medijan had a great game as well with 10. Uh, that was a... It was a big week. Only Baldy, Baldy one with Medijan, because yeah, yeah. you never know who he's going to play and yeah, how much. Yeah, well. exactly. But the two things that let me down was that Nate Walters and Corey Higgins didn't play, so... My great week, which I think I had 186 points, could have been, you know, potentially another 20 each there, yeah. 220, which would have really One put me back the, in the game. Yeah. But yeah, that was my my week, and yeah, I was really happy with it. Yeah, that was pretty good. So for me, um, I had one player who did not play. So uh, Wheeler Bab did not play for me. I was not aware, so I kept him. Uh, another player who did bad for me, pretty bad, uh, was uh, uh, Vani Mormon. Adrian Mormon. I said Vanita. <laughs> uh, Adrian, uh, he did minus two, so, but I still have faith, faith in him, hence why I'm keeping him for uh, the future. Um, uh, Noah, only zero. So these were my bad pick, bad, bad, bad players of the he weekend. Was, uh, yeah, Kotsar uh, was also bad, so yeah. I. Yes, I switched. Um, That's my job. Do your research. Yusafa Fall. Fall into the hype. Yeah, I I got rid of Yusafa Fall, who's been providing me for since uh, I First we week. started. Yes, and then I got uh, Kotsar. Uh, but then okay, so we've been having a lot of te technical difficulties. My phone would just stop recording. Uh, so Brock and I finished the videos, the video twice. But the end of it never recorded, and now Brock is out to practice. And I think we got enough where he covered his players and his changes. And uh, it's only me left now. So I'm gonna quickly go through my changes that I've made uh, for the double week. I made a big change that uh, with Costas Lucas. I am uh, taking him out of my roster and. Uh, He's been there since uh, week one. He's been very steady, very, very good. And uh, I just, I think I just needed some changes uh, to get someone, I don't know, some more players who can provide me points rather than uh, Costas Lucas uh, alone. His price is very good right now. So I am, um, yeah, selling him, um, selling Wheeler Bab, I'm selling Mike Kotsar, and I am also selling Costas Papa Nicolau. Costas uh, Papa Nicolau actually did pretty great like I bought him for I think under 500 now and I sold him for seven so that's uh, pretty good uh, if uh, you ask me okay who I got I got uh, Tavares as my center I don't think I have to explain a lot about why my reasons behind this purchase um, yeah so I won't <laughs> I got Dwayne Bacon who I wanted to get and was supposed to get before he even played the game, like the first game when he cost only 800,000. Now I got him for almost, I don't know, one and a half, I think. Anyway, but I'm happy he's finally on my roster. I believe in him. I think he's a great player, uh, well, very well-rounded, does a lot, can finish the game, like, and is a huge help for Panathinaikos. It's also a very good fit for the team. And I'm happy that Panathinaikos is doing so well right now. And, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for that. I'm a bit sad that I did sell Paris Lee because he's doing great too. Like this duo, I really like. But things are the way they are. I also did get uh, Hillard and uh, Otara. So Hillard is up and down. 
but I'm hoping that now uh, the whole Maccabi situation is gonna get better for him and uh, I know that there's some injuries that uh, hopefully are gonna give him more time on the court so and I'm hoping that he will uh, yeah do good as well as Otara so Yak is I think since Monaco is so stacked it's hard for Yak to actually uh, show off his skills I think he uh, he can shoot great he is a great defender and I think that's when he comes in for Monaco uh, especially now when uh, when Jordan uh, sadly uh, has an uh, injury and uh, yeah so Yak I think he's a very well very good player and uh, it just depending on how much time he will get and uh, how well can he you know use that time so yeah these are my changes that I've made and uh, I'm really hoping they're gonna give me some good results for the double week what we have also done with Brug before he left. I have tried because this is my the week that I lost, and I have tried the food. And uh, this food, <laughs> you can tell that we filmed it twice because I've tried both. This is mochi, uh, and it's like Japanese ice cream, which is great. I I love it. I've tried mochi in probably every country that I could could uh, could found could have found it, and but not in Japan yet. So, which is crazy because that's where, what it's like famous for. But I'm not gonna lie, I've tried it already, as you can see, twice. And it's great. I love, I love mochi, but I did not expect for this mochi to be this good because it's just like a, you know, like a 7-Eleven bot. But it's great. I could be losing all the time. If that meant I could eat this. It's so good. Like, I honestly, Brock asked me in the previous, in the video that you're not gonna see because it didn't film. Uh, but I would rate it. I would say 9.5. Because, like, wow. It's great. It's vanilla flavor. You can, yeah, I guess buy it anywhere here. Which is gonna be pretty dangerous from now on since I've tried it. Um, okay. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, yeah. Let's keep following this year league. It's pretty damn exciting. And uh, let's hope this double week is going to be even better. See ya.